that is the end of your driving test. And I love saying this bit. So how do you feel it went? <laughs> <laughs> Hello today crew and welcome back to another mock test video and we are graced with Mr. Mark's presence here. He absolutely annihilated me at Hendon. So now <laughs> it's my turn. So um, Mark, we are here at Greenford. Mm -hmm. um, this is Mark from Driving Test Tips. So if you haven't checked out, especially the TikTok page is absolutely brilliant. Really good. Uh, instructor tips for people taking their driving test, okay? Um, is there anything that you'd like to add to that before we go and slaughter uh, you at Greenford? Yeah, you can check out uh, my uh, WhatsApp, not WhatsApp, my Instagram as well. Okay. Uh, same name, driving test tips, so just check that out. I've got more tips on cool. YouTube. Yeah. And also the YouTube channel as well, and right? And the YouTube channel, definitely. Cool, yeah. where I get absolutely slaughtered, so go check <laughs> that one out. Okay, Mark, so what we're going to do is we're going to do the same situation as what we did for me at Hendon, mm -hmm. okay? So it'll be a little bit of a longer video because we're going to do all the maneuvers, yeah? Fine. Now, I did my mock test at Hendon in Mark's car, which is a Fiesta manual, and now Mark is in a different vehicle, which is an automatic. So, um, Mark doesn't, not that he doesn't know, but the door's not closed. Um, it's not familiar to Mark. So, we've told you that the gears are here. Which is really strange. Yep. And we, um, over here. Exactly. So, that's going to be completely weird. It's like you've had, I should, maybe I shouldn't say this, but mm. the left side of your body, people probably guess what I was going to say, mm. uh, is numb. It's not it's working nice anymore. Um, I don't yeah. need to use it. Yeah. So, so I can relax then. Yeah. <laughs> That's that kind of leaning right. that gangster look, right? <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to pass so, the test like, just like the whole, the whole way like this. Mate, I don't care. As long as you keep <laughs> control of the vehicle, it's the same way a real test is, right? Uh, yeah, yeah? yeah, yeah. Okay, go for it. Um, and what else? Uh, the gears are there. No clutch. Which is weird. That's well, it. I guess I'll get used to that as well. Yeah, am I missing anything? Yeah, you did. Remember, this is a mock test, you banana. All serious driver faults will be up here in red, and all advisory driver faults will be up here in yellow. Enjoy the mark test, you mofos. Signals are in the same place. Um, Mark didn't tell me how to wash his windows, so I'm not going to tell him how to wash my windows. To be fair, you had the Fiesta before, though, so you so, knew how to do it. What are we talking about? Uh, mad. I'll figure Don't it out. I'll figure it out. <laughs> All right. Um, if you do need Somewhere to figure it out, yeah, you can see it already. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. So we're going to go and do a mock test route. I'm not going to give it easy to mark. So this is Greenford. It is full of lots of obstacles, similar to Hendon, actually, as we kind of mentioned in that video. Very steep hills, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to go, Mark? Uh, yeah, why am I nervous now? Exactly, see, that's how I felt when I got in your I've car. I was asking my learners, why are you nervous? But I, I know the feeling now. Before, it's just like, yeah, we're talking about doing a mock, but then actually, yeah, ready for it now. It's weird, but yeah, I'm ready. Okay, good. He's off to a good start. He's put his seatbelt on. I'm that's ready. something that sometimes people forget to do and they can bail straight away. So, okay. Damn it, missed out on that one. Okay, Mark, so when you're ready, um, again, we're going to do a bit of a longer route and we're going to do all the maneuvers and then that's it. I'm just going to give you directions for now. So at the end of the road, if anyone knows Greenford, you know what's coming. End of the road, turn left. I know what's coming as well. <laughs> you know this bit then, right? Uh, yeah, he hasn't, oh, he hasn't changed. No, okay, no, so no, let's still, get him to drive. Still madness. Yeah. And we're looking around. Nice. <sighs> Blind spots, mirrors, I put a signal in as well, checking over my right shoulder. Give this car a bit of space because obviously there's not much room there, so I'll let him come out. And that's an examiner as well, so I wouldn't want to crash yes, into Yes, well done, yeah. <laughs> We're going left, yeah? Yes, please. Right, Centre, left. It was weird, again, not using a handbrake to move off as well, which is weird. Yeah, strange, isn't it? I do like the looks like he's not sure what he's doing, so I'm just going to wait here for a sec. Um, the parking up. Carry on. See, so normally I'd go, I'd go for my gear change now. And I need to be conscious about your speed bumps, isn't it? You said don't go over them too fast. Uh, yeah, you're all right. Just sort of drive like you normally would, right, with your instructor. Sure. All the, all the things you practice with your instructor. Ah, uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Examiner. 
<laughs> Just put a high res jacket on. I forgot that one. Oh, you got the speed on here as well. Telling me what speed is on the road. Yeah. So he's lucky, isn't he? I didn't have any of that, so did mention that quite thoroughly on the <laughs> mock test video. <laughs> So if I fell for speed, then it's not really concerning, right? Oh, and another thing, when you reach the speed limit, it makes a warning chime. So you'll hear it also. Ah, yeah. That's cheating, though. It's not cheating, but people call it cheating. So yeah, if you want to call it a cheat code. I like that. Okay. Should have turned it off, really. <laughs> now, remember, technology isn't always up to date. So do keep looking for signs. Yeah. Sometimes it might be temporary speed signs as well, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Going down this hill, I'm gonna control my speed, so I don't want to go over the speed limit. I know there's a nice route restriction coming up here, if they haven't changed it since last time I was here. And I'm not used to the width of the car as well, so hopefully I'm gonna make it through without you having to help me. Obviously not, because- You do what? trust me with the car, right? I'm an example, of course I trust you with yeah. the car. You trust everybody with the car. <laughs> so I got dual controls and the right hand to grab the steering wheel. <laughs> Oh, this guy's, uh, so whenever someone's coming down really fast like that, I like to slow down a little bit just to minimize that sort of risk. Because they could easily lose control. But if I'm going fast as well, that's going to make it more dangerous, isn't it? Mm. Okay, so I can see the sign already for a weak bridge and uh, width restriction. Checking my mirror before I slow down too much. Uh, aiming for the first line, because a lot of learners here, they'll go over the line and wait for where the cyclist should be waiting. Oh, what's that about? Oh, yeah, a lot of people mention that. So that camera's there to help you see the traffic light. Really? It just comes on automatically? Correct. See, I feel like I'm in a stone age with my car now. So I don't have to keep staring at it, I can actually just look here and uh, yes. see that. Okay. Nice. Uh, I'm going to green, it's going to go really slowly. There's a motorbike right beside me, but I'm just going to keep moving. And he's going to wait behind me, so I'm just going to go really slowly through here. Ooh, warning me that I was getting close on both sides and then another one straight away okay so I need to be really careful here again so you get a lot of people will zoom through here and then not realizing there's another one pretty much straight away just gonna concentrate here for a sec if you don't mind that's quite scary that sensor thing because yes. it makes you feel like you've done it wrong I know <laughs> yeah so the sensors are very sensitive mm. It can be off-putting, um, and if it is, then we'd turn those off. No nah, problem. cool, it's cool. Leave them on. Makes it a bit more interesting, because I don't have that in my car, so... What I'd like to know is how does a Tesla do that? Because they've obviously got sensors all the way around the car. They've got a very large monitor in the center of the vehicle, mm -hmm. which I'm wondering that would display similar to what this vehicle does, but on a larger scale. I don't yeah. know though, so if somebody knows, probably got be some quite interested. Next kind of radar or something on there. Yeah, I think they would probably be a little bit more high tech, but I'm not sure. Because they're going towards self-driving as well, those guys, aren't they? Oh yeah, yeah. The, their vehicles can self-drive. Um, they're amazing. So here, it's still 20, so I know people will get in a situation where they think, oh, I've been 20 for a long time, it must be 30 by now. And then they'll try to speed up, but I haven't seen any other signs saying it's uh, I mean, it's giving this bus some space. So you're right, we're welcome, sir. Checking my right mirror, and then I'll come out. So with small spaces, you've got to be really careful and take your time, especially with the larger vehicles like uh, lorries and buses. That's when you have to just realise that the space is going to get much smaller and take more time then. Okay, how am I doing, Scott? You can't tell me, can you? <laughs> I'm just going to keep an eye on her, make sure you're not scribbling anything down. My and turn to do, be the cool cucumber. And if you do, I'm going to grab the pen and throw it out the window so you can't mark anything down. Damn it. <laughs> it's like that moment. Uh, if you do good, I'll use the green pen. And if you do bad, I'll use the red pen. What colour is your pen? Blue. It looks like you threw the green pen out the window. <laughs> Yeah, Take it nice and easy here. Speed bump again. Just gonna check my right mirror. So you, sometimes you can go a little bit over the line just to go over the speed bump like this, but make sure there's nothing coming in your way. If there is something coming in your way, just make sure you're keeping your lane properly. Okay, we're following signs to Oxford, please. Okay. Oxford A40. Thank you. Which is the right? So I'm gonna check my centre mirror, right mirror, signal right. And I've seen that it's a 30 sign just there as well, and. Your car accordingly has changed. 
the speed limit to 30 in there. I was going for my clutch there, but there's nothing to impress. So strange, isn't it? <laughs> that feeling, when I made the change from manual to automatic, mm. that was so weird. Your body just gets used to doing certain actions, doesn't it? And then, so I got in the manual car the other day, mm. and I tried to change gear with the brake because I'm not used to using my left foot now. Ah. So I thought the right foot would do the clutch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That must have been fun. Oh no, that was before I even started, oh, so okay, nothing okay. bad happened. No, no, no. Like, you got the Yeah, but uh, that was all on film, so. Is it on your channel? It will be. Yeah, <laughs> it already is. <laughs> if you're watching this video, it already is. So that's Carol, yeah. yeah. Carol's joined the team, so we just had a little catch up. It's nice. So, see, that I was about to go for my water, but um, oh. it changed. Mm. Okay, so I remember it's 30 now, so I'm just checking over there, make sure I'm coming through. Yeah, I just feel like it's for changing gears. Oh, what? Yeah, oh. oh. What happened there, Mark? Did I miss the sign? I don't know, you did tell me about a 30 mile now sign when you went through the traffic light. Before the lights, there was a sign for 30. There was, wasn't And then it changed there? straight back to 20 again. I don't know, did it? Or is the car misinforming you? <laughs> Remember what awkward. I said earlier, Mark? About the, mm, okay. Okay, now focus, please. Follow the signs to A40 Oxford. Slightly right, go around to the right, A for Oxford, on the floor as well. Cool. So, this car is trying to lie to me, tricking me. Remember, technology might not be up to date, so yes, you'll get that on the sat nav. There's cons inconsistencies with sat navs generally. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, just keep looking for signs, and you did, right? I okay. did, yeah, yeah. But I know sometimes you see a sign saying, let's say 30, and then straight away we change again. That happens a lot now, what doesn't it? Yeah. There's some, there's some like that in Hendon as well. Where by the Middlesex Uni, okay. where you come yeah. out, it's yeah. uh, I think it's 30, then you go to 20, then 30 again. Really? Within On the, the same road? Within the space of like 100 metres, it changes a few times, so just watch out for that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Page Street actually, where the Middlesex University is, because that mm. comes off of Five Guys, Five Ways. No, Page Street, we did Page Street earlier, you know, yeah. you say that big round up that big hill. That yeah, was Page Street, yeah. you said it was Page Street, yeah. it was the checks. Is that middle section you're not on there? No. Okay, I'm good. So you, you go further down that road, mm -hmm. and then you get to a dual carriageway, mm -hmm. and then you can take it towards uh, middle section from that way, but not really from Page Street. Okay. So here, I'm just going to keep to the right as I go around, checking my mirror on the left there, make sure there's no car trying to cut into my lane. And I'm like, signal right to go here and I've noticed that lane can go right as well so I'm just going to be very careful as I go through here make sure that I don't encroach in anybody's lane or they don't encroach in my lane it's looking good 40 miles an hour sign I start picking up my speed so right now I'm just gauging the, the traffic on the dual carriageway trying to see how fast they are going so I'm going to match their speed check my mirrors and signal right as well there's a van here I don't, want to, I don't want to cut in front of him, so I'm just going to go a bit slower. There's a white car behind him as well, but he's slowing down, so give me space. Thanks very much, sir. So, uh, say thank you. You don't have to do that, but I do that. Um, so the van in front of me is going kind of slow. The traffic anyway is moving slowly anyway, most of the traffic, so I'm not in a rush to overtake this guy. But I'll see what's happening on the right. Just continue to follow the road ahead, so it's towards Oxford A40 still. Okay. Thank you. So, so concentrate in here, see what's happening on the right. Also conscious about leaving the space between me and this van here, I don't want to get too close to him. So how fast? We're doing like 35 or 30 now. And if someone comes in a space like this, the gap that you had, just slow, check your mirror and just slow down a little bit gradually to recreate that space again between me and the vehicle in front, make sure there's a two second gap at least. Okay. Okay, Mark. Yes, Scott. Would you be able to tell me how would you check to see your foot brakes working before starting the journey? My foot brake? Hmm. Um, I would press it and then I would make sure it doesn't feel soft or spongy. Okay, excellent. Thank you. So I can see this vehicle's joining the dual carriageway now. If there was space on the right, I could move over. Don't have to, but 
it will make things easier for the other guys trying to join. But right now it's quite busy on the right as well, so I'm not really going to try to do that. I'm just going to stay in my lane, keeping an eye on what's going on in front of me as well. And I'm still conscious about that sign. You said Oxford, right? Correct, yes. Yeah. Um, the next sign I will ask you to follow it towards Norfolk. Norfolk. Okay. okay. Yeah. So um, it's going to be the next exit, actually. So okay. it's a bit unfair for you because the traffic is kind of blocking and the right. sign is quite hard to see. So I'll just let you know it'll be the next exit, okay? okay. Don't try to be too nice, by the way. Yeah, yeah, that's good. <laughs> They're generally quite nice around here, are West they? London. Yeah, I mean, oh, okay. even Hendon, I think they're quite nice people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some test centres south of the river. I won't name any names, but I find, oh, man, the attitude is just through the roof down there. Really? Yeah, I don't know why, but anyways. Is it that north and south divide thing? Oh, yeah, it's just a different feel. I mean, I used to live around there, so I, I, I've used those test centres many, many times before, and um, it's completely different over here. Mm. So did you get a learner that will say, I don't, I don't want to go to that test centre because I've heard it's bad? Yes, lots. Really? Lots. We used to, get the, we used to hear that about, about Barnum. Okay. Uh, not so much now, because I don't really cover that area anyway, but I used to hear a lot of learners say that they don't want to go there. Mm. But I don't know how true that is, though. Yeah, I mean, things can change, obviously, right? Mm. So, you know... That's why I'm not naming names, because you never know if things can just suddenly change. <laughs> it's not fair to name names anyway. Like yeah, it's not. You know, everybody's human. We all make mistakes. Mm -hmm. But uh, a nice smile and hi, how are you, does go a long way when you're starting a driving test. So so we're following signs. We're coming up, aren't we? Yeah, say Norfolk. Yeah. So it wouldn't make sense for me to try to go and take anybody right now. No. Nah. I know coming up the next exit. Next exit. Stay, and stay. The road markings will show you Harrow, in fact. So it's kind of Norfolk, Harrow, it's the same, same way. Okay. Um, so have a look at the sign and see if you can see Norfolk, Harrow. Norfolk and Harrow, okay. I will have a look. I think I know this roundabout a bit, but I don't know exactly where Harrow is. This is Target, right? Harrow's into the right. I'll, I'll see when you get closer. So I know sometimes you think you know where the area is, but the sign will tell you a different way. Yeah, that's true. You get that, don't you? Yeah, yeah you can yeah. get two signs even with the same name on it sometimes. It's quite confusing. All right, so this one, don't commonly ask people to follow signs. They usually have the sat nav on for this. Um, so that didn't actually say Harrow, Horse, or Norfolk, yeah. but you're correct. It's the third exit turning right. Okay. So sometimes you've got to watch out, see people come up for the last mm. second. Even up to, uh, to here, I'm still checking my right mirror in case somebody is silly enough to do that, which some people are, they will do that. So you just have to be very careful. Uh, so we're turning right third exit. Correct. I'm not exactly sure how the lanes are going to work, but mm -hmm. I know exactly. I know as long as I'm safe on there, as long as I don't change suddenly without checking my mirrors, I should be okay. You'll see an abbreviation of Harrow, H-A-R-W. Okay. I'll signal right anyway because I know we're going to, okay, Harrow there. I know we're going towards the third exit, towards the right, so I'm just going to signal. Giving this car enough space being in front of me, not getting too close, I can see the tyres touching the floor, which means I should be fine. That's a nice one, I like the tyres touching the floor. Yeah, yeah. tyres and tarmac, tarmac. Yeah. If you can see that, then you should be far enough away when you stop. And then getting onto the roundabout as well, you need to be very careful. This happens in, in Apex sometimes as well, where there's already traffic on there, and joining it is a bit tricky. You have to wait until it's a bit uh, clearer. Just keeping an eye on the light. Got the box junction as well. Just checking my mirrors. See the lanes are merging together here. Okay, so I'm still in this lane for now. But already I'm thinking about my exit though. I don't want to be sucked in the middle of the roundabout. At some point I want to start moving over towards the middle. Which is what I'm thinking about now. But I'm thinking about where this guy's gonna go. <clears throat> because he might be aiming for the same lane that I'm aiming for. Worst case scenario, if I do get stuck in another lane, I can try to move over afterwards. Or worst, worst case scenario, go around again. I wish I did that earlier, <laughs> Mill Hill roundabout. Oh, and you realise the... I could have just gone left. Thought, you know what, this is too, <laughs> too difficult for me, I'm going to go Mill, left. Mill Hill Circus. Yeah, yeah nice. could have. You didn't. Could have done. Okay, so now I'm moving off. Checking where he's going. Oh. I didn't actually need to. I'm going to no, signal left because I'm coming off the next exit. Check my mirror. Checking the light, it's going to red now, so I'm just going to stop. Another thing that people get kind of stuck on as well, not stuck, that trip top, is the lights on the roundabout. Because once they get on, they think, oh my god, yeah, I can go now, and, not, and forget to check what colour the light is. 
So I'm thinking about this guy as well because he looks like he's trying to go to the right, but he might come off with me. We'll see what he does. Okay, so he's going around. Well done, sir. I cancel my signal now. Are the lanes merging together now? Oh, the speed limit's changing. I want to. I want to start thinking about going to the left lane now. So I'm gonna drive in the left. It's still 20. Yep. So there was that guy was quite close to me. Right? He's always gonna he's flashing me as well, but give me a chance sir, to move over. And it's quite tricky to keep at 20, isn't it? You're telling me, and <laughs> so the bus is coming up. It's gonna slow it down a bit. I could think about going round him, but at this point, it's no point. There's lots of cars on the right there. I'm just gonna slow down a bit and go behind him. But with buses, we want to give a big gap because they pull over a lot as well, don't they? Yes. Sometimes they pull over without signalling. True. My mate told me they do that on purpose. Why? To hold the traffic up behind them so people don't overtake. Ah, so they can just rejoin after yeah. easy. Okay, so he's pulling over now. So I'm thinking about going around and going to signal right. There are cars behind me. I was like, there is space. So this guy's letting me go in. Thank you very much. See, they went for the clutch again, but I didn't need to. Let's <laughs> check in the side. So I'm going to go back to the left lane and get that little beep. So when can you actually, oh, maybe you can't say, but when can you actually get a fault for going over the speed limit, do you know? When can you get a fault for going over the speed limit? Or when do you, they say, yes, this, this is enough to give you a fault? Because they're doing like 21. Well, what's over the speed limit? Anything over, over the speed limit, I guess. Does that answer your question? Yes. <laughs> So every beep I'm getting. <laughs> well, the beep it beeps at you when you reach the speed limit. Okay. Still going straight, yeah? Correct, yes, please. Do you get that question a lot from your learners? Yeah. After you've explained to yeah, them, uh, yeah. if Probably I don't say anything, we're going straight, yeah? And yeah. Next minute. Um, are we going now? <laughs> it's all right, though. I mean, you can double check with your examiner, can't you? Of course, like yeah. you said, as long as it's done in a safe area, you're not in a junction asking those questions. Then... I encourage them to actually. Yeah. Because yeah, sure, yeah. So... my test, like you said earlier, with that roundabout, I went round the roundabout three times on my test. On your real test? On my test and passed. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, she laughed at me afterwards, but the examiner laughed at me afterwards, yeah. but, you know, still passed. Yeah, that just, just now was a bit weird because it was a really big lane that was going into one, but it's still quite a big lane now. So it can be confusing sometimes you think this is two lanes, when in fact it's uh, one lane, right? <laughs> <laughs> A lot of questions coming from Mark. Mm, yeah. In the comments down below, would you answer Mark's questions, please? <laughs> if we were the examiner. Please help me, what are they? Is it one lane or two lanes? <laughs> no, I'm joking. I, I, it's one lane. I've, I've already made up my mind that it's one lane. I'm going to treat it as one lane. I'd like you to take the next road on the right. Okay, so centre mirror, right mirror. I've already positioned myself slightly right. I'm going to position myself in this box as early as possible because I know people like to leave it late and then try to turn in here. But Yeah, can... one of my pet peeves, guys, mm -hmm. down the Mark's channel. Positioning, super important. Take my right mirror before I turn. Giving these people some space. And I can look around again, I can still see that it's 20 miles an hour and your car's telling me it's 20 as well. Nice little meeting situation we've got here. I can go around this car. Make sure I check my right mirror before I come out. But now I'm thinking, should I come out before that car? Probably not. Because he's coming out quite fast, so I'm just going to wait for him to go past first. Nice, yeah, that's how I teach my students. So the speed of the oncoming vehicle, it's a good signal. You yeah. know, you know what their intentions are usually. Exactly. So I can see already the restriction coming up again. So if I was driving my car, I'd be thinking about what gear I'm in, but on automatic, you don't need to think about that because when you slow down, it's going to do it anyway for you, yeah. isn't it? Mm -hmm. Which is nice. So I, thought, I saw one, one of your videos. Oh, you're using like a reference point. I haven't really used a reference point for this before. I just a use lot my... of people don't like them, to mm. be honest. Just use my eyes and my ears. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, we're going to be approaching a roundabout. Mm -hmm. um, 
Let's see if there's a bit of space on the left, actually. Doesn't look like, yeah. Okay. So at the roundabout, take the first exit turning left. Mm -hmm. Then I'd like you to follow the signs to Rainer's Lane. Rainer's Lane. Okay. Yes, please. So centre mirror, left mirror. Signal left. Normally I'll be in the left lane, but there's a van blocking that lane, so I can't be in there. So, but I can go in there afterwards. I'll check my mirror before I go in there. My car is quite far away. I can make a move. So, Rainer's Lane, yeah? Yes, please. Okay. Still 20. 20. Um, we're reaching the sign. Rainer's Lane is straight second exit. <coughs> So I'm thinking about what lane to use, if it's more than one lane, but it looks like, as I approach, it looks like it's going to be uh, one lane. Already checking the traffic from the right, how, how, how it's flowing, looks like it's quite clear. But I'm going to double check again, even this pedestrian, I need to be careful of it. It's already, it's already stepped in the road, so I'm just going to let him cross. The car coming down, going the other way. Once I go past the first exit, signal left. The bus lane there, I can't see the times on that bus lane, so I'm not going to go in there yet. Okay, it's, uh, it's 4 to 7. What time is it now? Where's, this, where's your time on this car? Rainer's lane is on the left anyway. Is, is it before 3 o'clock? 4 o'clock. It is before 4 o'clock. So I'm just going to go into the bus lane. Rainer's lane is this way anyway. It's now 30 miles an hour. Zooming towards those lights because even though the green is traffic right in front of them, so I'm just going to approach it nice and slowly. Getting to the end, can only turn left, but I'm going to signal anyway. So give way, so I'm going to check. And then turn left again immediately. Straight left, okay. yeah. Just keeping the signal on. And turn left, and I can see the sign has changed. So I'm going slowly into here because I've got a meeting situation pretty much straight away. And you're saying about your car, see, so it hasn't, hasn't changed the speed limit to uh, 20 even though I saw on the floor that it's 20. So I followed the sign that's on the road and not on the car. Room. Excellent. Yeah. And that's what the examiners usually said that a while ago. They, mm. they would tell people that because you're using the sat nav, mm. sometimes the sat nav is inconsistent. It's not correct. Even their so. sat nav, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Tom, Tom. Okay. Getting that to 20. Be careful. <laughs> I'd like you to pull over just after the white car, if you could, on the left. Sure. And don't worry about driveways on this occasion. Just anywhere on the left would do. Maybe if you leave roughly a car length from that BMW, we we'll sure. do the angle start. Okay. Keep my signal on. The car's going past me. Don't want to scratch your, your rims. Is that, is that okay? One car length? Yeah. Very nice. Drive on when you're ready, please. Okay. So I start with my left shoulder, left mirror, centre mirror. With my right, it's looking good. One more track, this is fine. And off we go, remembering that it's still 20. 20 is? 20. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine if I didn't know what, you, what to say then. I don't know, it's a driving instructor, I'm sure you've heard <laughs> that before. Yeah, a few times. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm still thinking about the speed bumps. So I, I know it's the 20, but I don't want to be doing 20 the whole time. Because I, I put a video up the other day about how to go over speed bumps. And someone was like, oh, you should just do the speed limit when you see speed bumps. But I don't think that makes sense because it depends on the car that you're, you're driving. It does, in. yeah. So uh, what, another thing I've heard from the DVSA is teach by the car. Mm. So not every car's the same, so you adapt to the car. Depends on the speed bump. And then I was also saying, what if the speed limit's 30? Are you going to do 30 over a speed bump? Mm -mm. If you've got a Ford Fiesta, you might be all right. <laughs> if you've got one of these lowered cars, don't do it. Yeah. You're going to give yourself a heart attack. Yeah, some of my learners think it's okay to do 30 miles an hour over a speed limit. I just have to tell them, Look, guys, please. I know it's a Ford Fiesta. It's not a Mercedes, like Scott's car. How can I help you? Tell us a joke. Sorry, my engineers were German. Ooh! <laughs> because you said her name. Her name's Scott? No, the other one. What did I say? Mm, you don't remember know? the name of this vehicle? 
Oh, her name. So, so when you say her. that, it starts to respond mm. to you. Yeah, you can ask oh. good questions, tell you to take you to dinner and stuff like that. Mercedes, how do you pass the driving test? One, two, one, two. Noni. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Take the next road on the right, please. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> She's talking in binary, isn't it? So I don't get it. <laughs> Nice, very oh, nice. Smooth. Hey, see why you have to check the mirrors there? Very good. Over my shoulders off. Oh, I, I didn't know he was going to do that, but that's why you have to check, check these things because people will do crazy stuff. It's funny how they usually drive a very similar vehicle, these people <laughs> that do this funny stuff. Mm. That was very uh, dangerous, actually. Yeah, check out my TikTok if you want to see more driving like that. Okay, at the roundabout, I'd like you to turn left, first exit. So, mirror, mirror. That car's very far away, I'm not going to wait for him. Check the mirrors again for any more people. It's looking good. Meeting situation potentially, but there's nothing coming down the road. It's still 20 because I haven't seen anything saying that it's changed, even though the car is still saying 30, but I'm just going to stick to below 20 miles an hour. Okay, Mark, what I'd like to do is one of the manoeuvres on this road. I'd like you to pull over and stop in a convenient place on the right side of the road, please. There's quite a few spaces over there. I'm going to check my centre mirror, right mirror, signal right. Check the mirror again. OK, thank you. Now, I'd like you to reverse back roughly two car lengths in a straight line, keeping a reasonable distance on the kerb on your side of the road. Don't worry about driveways if you need to stop in front of the driver on this occasion. That's okay. We're only going to be a brief moment before moving off. Okay? okay. So when you're ready, I'd like to reverse back to car limits. Sure. Thanks. Okay, so I'll get into reverse. Do my check of the car coming down, so I'm just going to wait for him. I'll get the reverse camera as well, which is nice. This is what Mark has. Beautiful camera. <laughs> Once this is not what I had. Once this car is gone, but that's all right. around again. Do what Mark's doing. And use a little circle mirrors. Nice and slow. Turning a bit to the right to get it closer to the curb. So I'm just, using, just gently pressing the brake to keep my speed down because I don't want to go too fast. Because if I come off the ground. Okay, I'm getting uh, the alarm's going off mad, but. Um, I'm not really that close. I think it's maybe because of the tree. So I'm just going to ignore it for a sec. Let's keep going back. Yeah, that tree, I think, it came through the sensors of thinking I was getting really close to something dangerous, but I wasn't. Um, obviously, if you've got sensors in your car, you want to be checking as well to make sure that it's not going to be anything crazy that you're going to hit into. Um, but you need to use your own eyes as well to judge. Okay, I think this is about enough. Amazing. All right. Thank you very much, Mark. When you're ready and it's safe, drive on. Thank you. So since we're starting from the right side, I'm going to check my shoulder on the right first, do a full sweep, and then signal left as well in the camera. When you Ooh. pull away, providing it's safe to do so, mm -hmm. Actually, there's a speed bump there, never mind. Okay, and just drive on when you're ready and it's safe to do so. Okay. Thanks. Drive on. Okay. And if we're going to do a show me question now, so when it's safe, I'd like to show me how you beep the horn as loudly as you can, please. Okay. Um. That's good. I like that nice manly beep there. <laughs> That helps me to sync the videos. Yeah. Now everyone knows my secret. <laughs> okay, right. at the end of the road, turn left. Okay, so center mirror, left mirror, signal left. I'm approaching it nice and slow. Okay, turn that mirror. Put the signal back on because it's cancelled itself. There is a car coming. I get a lot of learners say, oh, I could have gone there. But they won't know that. When you first get there, you feel like it could have gone afterwards because you really already had time to assess the situation. But when you first get there, you won't know, so it's best just to wait until you know for certain that you can go. And there we go. And 
Okay, so we have a roundabout coming up. I'd like you to take the second exit straight ahead. Okay? Straight, straight ahead. And then remember, if no directions are given, just continue to follow the road ahead. Sure. All right. Thank you. So straight second ahead is going to be left lane, checking the right from early, looking like it's good, keeping in the left, and then signal left, check the right mirror for anybody else trying to nip in there, but it looks like it's good, mirror check again. So it's same 30 and also the signs would pass a road that said 20 on the side. So I'm guessing this is a 30 now. <laughs> <laughs> the side of the road said 20. So you wouldn't wouldn't really say that if it was 30. This is a weird feeling, not knowing what the speed limit is. But I'm gonna Assume that's 30. I'm committed to it. If it's not 30, fail me, Scott. Yeah, you heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so we're still going straight ahead, yeah? And there's an arrow on the floor saying left only, so I'm not going to use that one. I'll use this lane. Check if any cars coming from my head. There isn't any. The van has to wait. And I'll come off. Again, looking for any more roundabouts like that. It's like I don't think there's any. Ah, sign for a roundabout there, so I'm just going to keep an eye on the lanes as we approach. Also, looking what the cars ahead are doing as well. What lane are they using if they are using any sort of lanes? Okay, so I'm going straight ahead, right? Yes, thank you. Can you use any lane here? I'm still going to check my left, my right mirror in case anybody tries to go in there before me. Now the traffic lights, I'd like you to turn left. Okay, so I'm looking to the left side. It's a bit early for a signal, so I'm going to leave it off for a bit. Oh, the pen. The pen's coming out. <laughs> my expensive pen. Uh, Alright, we're going left. <laughs> mirror, mirror, signal left. And then we've got the giveaway line here, which a lot of people forget to check, just to make sure there's nothing coming through there. Still see no signs, so I'm guessing it's still a 30. I always tell my learners don't look at what the examiner is writing down, but it's so tempting. Right now I'm forcing myself not to look over there. But I really want to know, I'm nosy, but I'm just going to turn focus, yeah. Mm. It doesn't really make sense for learners to look there, isn't it? One, no. you want to know what they're writing. Two, it's not really going to change anything. Yeah, it's not. It's Might a well distraction. Yeah. I'd like you to take the next road on the left, please. It's a mirror, mirror, signal left. We're in there quite slowly because it looks like a small road and I could potentially get into a meeting situation straight away. And it's looking good. I'd like to pull over in a convenient place on the left, please. Okay. There is a yellow line there, can I ignore that or...? No, there's a space over there, don't worry. Convenient place. Yeah. Sure. Thanks. Okay, lovely. What we're going to do now is we're going to do another one of your manoeuvres. As you probably guessed, we're going to do the reverse park exercise, which is commonly called parallel parking. Yeah, it's called reverse parking officially on the test, okay? So what I'm going to ask you to do is to move out, if it's safe to do so, and stop next to the silver vehicle in front. And then I'd like to reverse within two car lengths and finish a reasonable distance from the curb. Yes, there's a driveway there on this occasion I like to avoid, or 
disregard the driveway so you can stop in front of the driveway. And that's pretty much it. So is that clear? Any questions? Yeah. Can you repeat that again, please? No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'd love to repeat it again. <laughs> okay, when you're ready, driver. Okay, so I'm just going to check all my surroundings, uh, put a signal on, and I'm checking. I know it sounds weird, I'm checking that left mirror because I can see more of the bend from there than I can see on this one. Good. And then I'm just going to do one more check and come out. Pull up alongside it, check my mirror, see who's behind me as well before I do anything else. Okay, I'm just going to stop beside it. And bearing in mind I've got two car lengths to do this in, so I'm not going to do it in a rush or try to squeeze in right behind the car. So I'm just going to look all around. Just do a little turn like this. Let it go in gradually. Got different kind of little mirrors than I have, so I need to get used to those. Stopping every now and again, having a look all around. Turning gradually away, bearing in mind that curve. Okay, it's getting quite close. It's getting a bit straighter now. Now that it's straight, I can straighten out the wheels and stop the car and forget about that driveway because we're disregarding it. Excellent, good. Okay, are you finished? Yes. It's probably a really park. unflattering camera angle. <laughs> 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 All right, lovely. Thank you very much, Mark. Um, in your own time, and it's safe to do so, drive on, and at the end of the road, I'd like you to turn right. Okay. So getting to drive. Look all around again. Signal over my shoulder. Make sure I don't get too close to that car, which has happened a lot in people's tests. They get too close to the car that is just parked next to you as they try to move off. Turning right, yeah? Yes, mirror, I've heard mirror. that referred to as shaving. Okay. And examiners usually say they're shaving the cars and moving around. Mm. So now I can see the 20 signs. It's very helpful. Coming out slowly, checking both sides. And the 20. So there's pedestrians here. I don't know what they're doing, so I'm going to cover my brake. But they are being sensible. Mark, there's a bit of a driveway coming up on the left. Mm -hmm. What I'd like you to do is just pull over and stop on the yellow line just in front of that big driveway there on the left, please. Okay, so mirror, mirror, signal. Okay. And your hair's good? Yeah, perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, Mark, what we're going to do is this is the part of your test where, if it's safe to do so, I ask you to do a controlled stop, which was commonly called an emergency stop before, yeah? Okay? So my signal to you, if it's safe, will be my hand up and the word stop. When you hear stop, I'd like you to do your controlled stop. Is that clear? Uh, yeah. All right. So when you're ready, drive on and just wait for my signal to say stop, obviously. Sure. Okay? okay? When you're ready. So look all around. Put my signal on. Check my blind spots, check my mirror again. I don't cancel my signal. So just drive as normal then. Yeah. So I'm still, still thinking about the speed limit. Make sure I don't go over the speed. Stop. Drive on when you're ready. Which felt very weird without the clutch again. So now that I've stopped, before I move on again, I'm going to do a full check. So you can play there's a car coming down the road, but it's uh, not too close. So I can start moving. Mm. You're really watching that car, aren't you? <laughs> okay, so just following the road for me. Thank you very much. Say so follow the road, yeah? Yeah. Okay. A lot so, of people think this is a dead end. I, that's what I thought. So I was thinking, where are we going here? I'm going to go nice and slow. I know I'm going a bit over the line, but it's because it's very narrow there. I don't want to scratch the car just to avoid going over the line. Yeah, well done. Um, car consideration. And yeah, you're you're looking into the turn, yeah? And you can see. So a lot of people they would do that before even looking into the turn though. That's the real danger. Oh, they always start turning on the wrong side on the wrong side. Yeah. Really seeing what's coming down. It's turning too early, isn't yeah. it? Okay, Mark. Um one last time I'm gonna ask you to pull over and stop in the convenient place on the left, please. So mirror. Mirror. Signal left. Nice parking spaces here. Thank you. 
Okay, Mark, so we're going to start another little bit of independent driving, okay, to show the viewers some of the independent routes here at Greenford. What I'm going to ask you to do is to drive on, and at the end of the road, turn left, and then follow the signs to central London. Now, bear in mind, when you reach the end of the road, if you do have a second to glance out this passenger side, you'll probably even see the sign. It's that early. For central London. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then just continue to follow signs to central London. Okay. All right. Yeah. When you're ready. Do my checks again. The signal. Looking good. Check on my blind spot in case anybody's coming out of that driveway, but there isn't. And we'll turn the left and then follow the signs for central London, yeah? Correct. Coming down quite fast. I can see the sign already saying left. So these cars are coming down really fast. I'm just gonna keep waiting until I get a nice. This car's turning, but the white. What? Okay, there you go. She wasn't turning. <laughs> so you see, she had a signal on to turn left. This person's letting me out, so I'm just gonna give a little thanks. So this car was actually indicating to turn left, but they went straight. So, oh, so the speed was too high for me to even think about coming out, which is why I waited. So. Anybody watching, that's what you got to be really conscious of there. Okay. Remember, there's a theory test question that says when you see a vehicle turning or signaling left, mm. do you wait until it turns before emerging, or do you just drive out in front of it? I think it sounds, sounds obvious on, on, on paper, but then when you're in the yeah, pressure situation, fair. it might be a bit different. Sorry. It's nice that you said about the speed, because the speed, again, like we, we, we talked about meeting situations earlier, mm. the speed's a very good indicator or signal. You know, people think that signals are just indicators. Mm. Brake lights are signals, reverse lights are signals, speed, position. direction, position, mm. they're all signals. So we're still following signs for central. central. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. so I know a lot of learners, though, especially long independent drive, they forget about where they're going. Correct, yes. I need to quite always think about okay, I was supposed to be going this place. And it's good you asked the examiner, didn't you? So I can answer because it's a safe environment to do so. And it's left first exit. It's Correct. Mirror, mirror. Signal left. Checking the roundabout from early. There's a white van over there. Not sure where he's going, but it looks like it's going the other exit. So that's fine. I can see the sign for 50. I'm going to do 50 until I go past the sign. Now I can start increasing my speed. Checking the sign there, telling us the road that we're joining. Probably going to be a dual carriageway situation. So, join. Checking the mirrors. They blurry next to me, but he's going past. And the board is saying Central London is going to be in the next lane. Mirrors, mirror, signal right. There was a car next to me, but he's moved over. Change lanes. Thanks very much. 50, I'm doing about just over 40. But I'm not going to, well, unless that car moves out the way, I'm not going to be in a rush to overtake it. So but now it's getting a bit more out of the way. Oh, it's got a bit of a kick. You like that. Okay, now it's going back to 40. Okay, I'm going to go back to it. So if it was still 50, I would have stuck in that lane and gone past the uh, skip lorry, but it doesn't make sense me staying there, I'm trying to do 40 when everyone's trying to go a bit quicker, so I came back to the left. So when you're under test conditions, it's quite tricky to really think about your speed all the time. You're trying to like... <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Remember part two? Yeah. You're going to take your national speed limit roads? Yeah. you got to be on 70. Like, I don't know... I've done mine in Barnet, so there's a lot of those. And there's a... Okay, so now it's going back to 3 lane. And I think about going back to the left, but there's a car coming down really fast. But it's, it's far enough away. So I can go into that lane. I'm still thinking about central London. Uh, in fact, that is the end of your independent drive. Thank you. And I will give you directions from now on. You might see this kind of like a bell tower or clock tower. It looks like this kind of tower thing with the green roof right. uh, where the bridge is. 
there's an exit coming up just there. Okay, what I'd like to do is take the next exit, please. There's a shop there, we're going to go into the car park, do some pay parking. The, okay. the known car park? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so it'll be a left and then we'll go left into the car park. So I'm going to signal from around here so this guy behind me knows that I'm coming off, so he can do what he needs to do to go around me or give me some space. Going into the slip nice and early. Slowing down a lot for the turn. 20 miles an hour. So we turn left here. Yes, please, into the uh, car park. Okay. Thanks. And then if you just do another left, similar to like your car park at Hendon and Mill Hill. Yeah, uh, I'm trying left. to avoid all that dirt over there. Could be something like oh, yeah, tires. Glass bottles there, yeah. Mm. Right, I'd like you to drive forwards into any bay, please. Okay. I'm going to choose right because I'm further from there. It makes it a bit easier. For me anyway. Checking my mirrors, there's no one really close. I'm gonna check my shoulder and let that go in. Going in nice and slow by controlling the brake. The lines have disappeared now, but I'm just kind of visualizing where they were. More mirrors on both sides looking good. And it's fine there. Got all time, yeah. And then I'll press park. Good. You finished? Yes. Cool. Well, <laughs> I'm just asking. asking you, I, are you trying to hint something here? Should I come out and check? No, I'm just asking um, if you finished. I can come out and check, isn't it, if I wanted to? If you wanted to, yeah. Okay. No, I'm, I think I'm all right. Yeah? yeah? Okay. So you can see the lines, yeah? Yes. Nice and bright. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, what I'd like uh, to do now... No, you need to explain why you just said that. <laughs> I'd like you to reverse uh, out to the right, please. Uh, I'll explain. For those people that are not sure why you said that, Go the, to the car park I took him to had all the bays available, but he chose one that had a faded yeah, outline. No, I take full responsibility. <laughs> Definitely was my was my choice and my decision. Okay, so which way are you facing? Uh, I'd like you to face that way, so if you'd reverse out to the right, please. Make sure it's safe, look all around. It's looking good. I don't want to reverse back too much here because I don't need to. So once I get to like here, I'm going to drive, look around again, make sure there's no one coming on either side. It's looking good. And off I go. Does that mirror change yourself, by the way? It does, yes. Okay. Yeah. So I go back up. Okay. Oh, it's a bit tight today. Which way do we go? Straight down? Oh, yeah, we're just going down. Not much. Straight down? Um, actually, no. Would you... Oh, additional parking. No, let's go be nosy. Straight Would you go straight down? I've never been down there before. Okay. This would be new. That's nice. I like finding out new stuff. Hopefully the lines won't be so bright down here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's maintain part of the car park here is what you're hoping for. Yeah. The, you know, the back bit. The <laughs> yeah. People going over the cigarettes. Yeah. Right, it's quite busy though, isn't it? This must be with a staff park, I don't know. There'll be a lot of staff members actually. All right, we've got some empty bays, lovely. Okay, cool, this is nice. Mm -hmm. Wow, interesting. It's gonna lead us out into the industrial bit. I've never been here. Okay, what I'd like to do is slowly, there's no one behind us, but you know, slowly just come to a stop somewhere here. Thank you. And then now what I'd like you to do is your reverse bay park okay. exercise. Ow. Uh, so when you're ready and it's safe, I'd like you to reverse into any bay on the left for me, obviously. There aren't any bays on the right, none that we can use. Okay, I can't see any of the lines for, as a, for a reference point, so I'm not going to use that technique yeah, right because now. because you'd normally line up, what, a line somewhere in the middle here of the door. or something like that. Yeah, yeah but I can't cool. see that right now, so I'm just going to use my... Oh, you got the reverse camera as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm. you had that um, when you were doing your reverse right as well. That might have helped you out. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, but okay. it's fine. I'll see how the mirror's very good. Let me see how I do it, just kind of mm -hmm. going. I might have to make an adjustment, but we'll see. Use my mirrors to see. <laughs> You're hiding it, but trust me, I was not looking at that. I'm trying to not to uh, crash your car here, Scott. Okay, it's going in, I think. Okay. Yeah, it's doing good that side. It's going to be very close. And a bit more towards the right, towards the left, and then turn the 
bit. That way. Get it straight on. And I think I will leave it there so I don't scratch your back of the car, Scott. Okay. Thank you. Are you finished? Yes, I am. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, I have no idea where this is going to take us, by the way. So we seem to have to go that way because this is all no entry one way. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not that there's any signs to help us with that here, is there? Uh, oh, yeah, a little one bit down there. there. Okay, all right, so what we're going to do is exit the car park on the left. So when you're ready, I'd just like to exit the car park on the left. Okay. Check all around me, even though there is just a fence there. Somebody could be hanging around there, jump out over the fence, you never know. You know what, I say stuff like that and people look at me like I'm mad, but you know, what if a cat or something comes across there? I mean, you don't want to squash it, do you? It's so. happened to me in Sainsbury's, a car a guy came out of the bushes. Yeah, Ooh. I've had people come out of bushes as well. All right. Thanks for just shopping. Yeah, you must be automatic, yeah, right? Yeah. Just to stop people driving in. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Okay, now I'm assuming we turn right here. Yes, thank you. And then I'd like you to turn right again, please. Okay. Mirror, mirror. Signal right. So this bit could be confusing here. Do I go over there or do I go here? Let me just take a second to assess this. Uh, wait for that guy. Okay, he's on, he's on that lane as well, so I'm going to go around that Because normally there'll be a sign here, an arrow. Yeah, it's obviously gone, isn't it? You can see oh, where it would have been. Oh, that's where it was. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, that would have been a bit of a boo-boo, isn't it? Oh, not over that side. And just straight ahead. Yeah, it would have been. Yeah, it would have took you into a wrong way. The wrong way. Like I said, I've never been here before, so this would be interesting. This should work the same way as it did before. I know where I am now. Yeah, so with the barrier, I'm just going to be very careful here, because I know sometimes they do one car at a time, but it's like it's green. Excellent, that was nice. It flashed red and then yeah. it turned green, didn't it? Okay, at the end of the road, I'd like to turn right, please. Okay. Here we have a serious driver fault. Oh no, Mark, not another one. Yes, it's for road markings. Now, as you come towards the end of this road, have a look closely at the road markings. You may notice that the left lane is a left only, and we need to use the right lane here to turn right. Mark uses a left only lane to turn right and receives a serious driver fault for road markings. Next, after we come to a complete stop, well done, Mark, I didn't do that on my video. So there is a stop sign, you have to come to a absolute dead stop. This is where Mark briefly mentions that there is a traffic sign stating to give priority to the right hand side. We emerge out into the path of another road user and receive a serious driver fault for traffic signs. Well, I know what he's going to do because he got me on my mock <laughs> test for this. So I'm going to stop fully and then wait for that yellow car to go by. I already see signs over there for me having to give way to somebody coming down the road, so I'm just gonna come out. So the white car coming down the road will have priority. But by the time I get there, he's already done his thing, so I can carry on. Check the mirrors, there we go. And here, I'm just gonna give you now my speed. Only one way to go, which is towards the left, so I'm just gonna follow it around that way. I'm not sure what the slip road is gonna be saying, or how long it is, okay, it's quite it's reasonable. Stop building up my speed. There's a car van on the right. There's a big space behind him. So, join him. Get some signal. So it says 50 on your thing, but I know this bit is 40. So we just on here a second. Van said 40. So yeah, so be very careful. Are you sure you didn't trick? You didn't tune this up today, so you can like try. To trip me up, Scott. So. I have no idea how it works. <laughs> it's like magic. I just yeah. don't understand it. I'd like you to take the next exit here for me, please. As I come up, I can see signs. So I can say it's still 40. And would you take the next road coming up on the left for me, please? Sure. So mirror, mirror, signal left. Bring this right down. 
see there's a 20 sign on the floor there, which is great, nice and clear. How long have you been growing your hair then? Uh, three years now. Three years, is that all? Wow, <laughs> yeah. quite long. Yeah, it's three years. When are you going back yours again? No. You know, you're uh, keeping it low, main, low that, maintenance, yeah. Yeah, that intermediate stage between getting to like that sort of length mm. for long. me. <laughs> oh, man, it's horrendous. Okay, let's check my mirror. Ooh. Stiff. Okay. Doing a lot of writing there, Scott. Writing an essay, how great how great I'm doing. It's like this just reminding yourself. I have to writing. remind myself, yes. You've done really well here, Mark. <laughs> this bit here was great. <laughs> that just comes naturally, that part. It's the bad stuff I have to remind myself of. Okay, uh, where are we? So still a little bit further down. Okay. See, there's a lot going on here, especially the car turning in front. And at the... Oh, it's, I thought it was a traffic light there. I'd like to take the next road on the right, please. Let me see over there. I don't know where it is. Just there, yeah? Mm -hmm. Mirror. Can't see people coming from the bend over there, so I'm just going to be extra careful. Just line myself up just like here. And once the cyclist has gone, check the mirror again. And then make my turn. Yeah, the lorry's coming out. Don't know where he's going. He's turning in there. Okay. A lot of lorries around here. Yeah, we have got a big industrial park around here. Is, is this where Tesco is as well? Really? The, like a like delivery place? Yeah, there is. Yeah, there's a massive Tesco, Hoover building Tesco. It's further down the A40. Slightly further, it's not too far. Um, I don't know if there's a supermarket in that one. I think it's just like kind of like fast food and... Mm. No, I know there's a the Tesco, like shops. where I get my, my online, online delivery comes from here. Yeah, probably not, be there. Sure exactly. There, oh, you know what? You're right. You've got like a depot. There's a huge depot here somewhere, but mm. I think you're right. It's just behind us. Turning left, please. Okay, so mirror, mirror, signal left. Make sure the light still stays green, and it does. Twenty again. Keeping left. So I can see the lanes are merging together up ahead there, so I'm just going to start checking my right mirror from now, so I can start moving over in the middle of this lane. So you clearly know this is a 20 road, it's quite clearly signposted and you've mentioned that. Yeah. What, do you, what reason do you think this road is a 20? I reckon it's because usually it's a school around, but there's no schools around here as far as I know. No. Um, so I couldn't tell you to be honest because it's so wide. Yeah. I know they've got um, a whole thing where they're trying to make most of London 20. So it could be part of that. So I know a lot, of, a lot of boroughs are 20 now, like Islington's all 20, yeah. Haringey. What I heard when it first started, all of this changing, mm -hmm. was it was because of emissions. Really? So the slower you go, Less, per less petrol you're burning. Generally, yeah, I guess. But I might be wrong, and I've been asking people to someone please explain to me why. <laughs> um, but I haven't had any really definite explanation. So I thought I thought it was for the safety thing. Yeah, me too. I thought it could definitely be the safety because you know if you hit, you've seen that advert. If you hit me at thirty, this happens. You hit me at twenty, this happens, and mm. there's a huge difference between. You know, yeah, serious yeah. accidents yeah. between those two speeds, so it's definitely a huge safety aspect. Yeah. Um, yeah, just be nice to have someone that might be. But a lot of people say it's more concentration, though, like, so it's less safe because you're concentrating const like, so much on keeping it at 20, 
that it's hard for you to actually concentrate on the drive. Mm. I don't know how true that is, though. Well, in my experience, I would agree with that personally. It's just just the way I see it, because I am constantly looking down at the speed limit. See that you're breaking a limit. Yeah. So yeah, I'm just keeping an eye on that left mirror because sometimes cars will come here in the last second and try to go fast. Just making sure no one's doing that there. So if everyone's behaving, so it's cool. So we're almost back. Um, at the traffic light up ahead, we'll turn right and that's pretty much going to take us back towards the test centre. And then it's crunch time. And it's crunch time. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're hiding it now. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to turn right at the light. So I'm positioning myself right early. Some, some learners will go there and then try to come in the last second. That's I would say everybody does that. Mm. That's another good question. Why? Why do people do that? Mm. I think they're used to being on the left, aren't they? All right, OK. You can't, we remember, we're constantly telling them, stay left, be yeah, the left thing, go on the true. left thing. So... They'll, they'll go there and then they'll try to move over to the, mm -hmm. to the right. Have you noticed it happens in the junction when people are about to turn right, that they do that whole left bit? And this will swing. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to signal right. There's a motorbike ride. I know I'm turning. Make sure the light still stays green, which it does. So here's tricky because those guys should be waiting because it's got just a solid green. Mm -hmm. Normally they have a green arrow telling you definitely that those guys yeah, are Yeah, filter light, yeah. Uh, if it's a solid one like that, you've got to be extra careful. Make sure that they are actually not moving towards you as you go forward. That's a very good point, because that traffic light's always been like that, so why they haven't put green filter lights? Oh, I know why, because mm -hmm. you can go straight left and right from there. So you couldn't put an arrow, you'd have to put three arrows, wouldn't you? No, it was just a solid and and a filter light as well. I've seen that happen. Yeah, you could get that. I guess that's an extra traffic light, so... Yeah. Just to let you know that, you know, these guys have got a... Lights take the next road on the right, please. Okay, so... Mirror. Mirror. Signal. So there's a car coming down the hill. It's going to slow down enough, so... You can go past me now. I can keep moving and turn. Make sure I don't cut the corner. Checking the speed limit again is 20. So now I'm thinking about, OK, what, what did I do wrong? I think it's a lot of learners who have this experience now thinking, all right, coming up to the end, did I do right? What, what did I do wrong? No, he can't have failed me. Me and my friends, we're talking. <laughs> There's no way he can fail me. That's how it put me on, my, on my, one of my driving tests. There's no way this guy can fail me. We're friends. Like, it would be too awkward if he fails me. <laughs> That's exactly like me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was chatting about everything in my test. Yeah. I thought, oh, this is going so well, he's so nice. And yeah, I got back, it wasn't the result yeah. I wanted. <laughs> that happened to you as well. Yeah, I was like, you passed no, second time? No, third, actually. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was like, there's no way this guy can fail me. He's too awkward when talking about his brothers out here, so I definitely passed. Yeah, and then he goes, boom, at yeah. the end. And you're like, what? The time that I failed, the time that I passed, I thought I actually failed, but I passed. All right, yeah, so, so nervous. You, you never know. You know. Right, take the next road on the left. park in the corner so I'm just gonna go nice and slow make sure there's no one coming around him we'll go up a bit further because I think the test center's closed it is closed yeah. but we'll go up a little bit further you see that tree coming up on the left mm -hmm. you think I'm gonna say something like that at the end they just want you off the road so anywhere near that tree is fine sure. they don't care about the driveways or well, maybe they do care but they mm -hmm. have to stop somewhere they're so only there for a little we're while. here for a bit anyway so we're not gonna yeah. If somebody does try to come out, we can just reverse. Yeah, we, we can move the car. Okay. All right. Uh, leave the engine on. You do have it in park. The car is completely secure, so you don't need to worry about handbrakes or anything else. We'll just keep the air conditioning on. But normally at the end of the test, the examiner will tell you to switch the engine off. Mm -hmm. um, so that's just important to mention. That is the end of your driving test. And I love saying this bit. So how do you feel it went? <laughs> I'll ask that question to so many learners. More. Uh, 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 uh. I, I thought it went all right. The only thing that might have messed me a little bit was maybe going a bit slow on that road. Um, that was a 30. But there was a car in front of me anyway going, this is me trying to like, make excuses now. Yeah, no, I didn't. That <laughs> but was, there was I a didn't car mark in front. that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Fair point, though. Yeah. Apart from that, Dual carriage, I thought that was decent. The parking was, was good. Okay. It was good that you saw that fault, you son. 
when you tried yeah. to overtake the lorry. Yeah, and yeah. And you went, oh, and then you moved back afterwards. Yeah. I could have been breaking the speed limit there. Yeah, just to, just to you caught that. That was very good uh, mm. awareness there. Well done. Uh, in terms of where I went wrong, it's hard, isn't yeah, it? It's hard. And Mark did ask me to be quite a strict examiner, I did, I did, yeah. so I was as strict as I could be. So how did I do? So you would like to know the result? Please. So unfortunately, Mark, on this occasion, you haven't passed. <laughs> oh! You thought it was going to come, you've passed. No. Oh! No way! Oh! <laughs> oh! Whose turn is it now, Mark? I take, no, I take no pleasure in this whatsoever. Yeah, all, right, all, right, all, right, all, right. <laughs> all right, so do you want to hear? Of course. All right, so number one. Does he fall there? Use speed, minor. Oh dri we'll, we'll call them driver faults. Advise you driver faults. They're not minors, mm. they're, they're driver faults. All right, so uh, remember you talked about it. How much is over the speed limit? Mm. I don't know that, but it was going 21, 22, 23, back down, 21, 22. 23? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Um, so I'll try and bring that up on the edit and mm. show that, okay? Because um, it was kind of when you were talking about it, just before as well, but it kept kind of going up and down, right? Mm. So I put it down as a driver fault because it was kind of happening not just once, it was, you know, it was going up and down a little, and I can do my best to show that on the edit, so mm. I can kind of protect myself there, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so that's there. Um, next, uh, driver fault again. So these are just the advisory driver faults, so what people will call minor driver faults. So we had this second roundabout on Victoria Road. Now, Victoria Road was the bit with, like, uh, there's a lot of shops down that road, and you saw the first roundabout had a left only. So you've got... Uh, what do you got? You've got Lidl there, you've got Honda there, you've mm. got a bunch of other shops. There's a nut of Volkswagens there. Um, anyways, when you came towards the second roundabout, which where the Sure Guard is, I think. Um, no, where the Sainsbury's is. Yeah, where the Sainsbury's is. Mm. Yeah. You know, you were kind of thinking, what lane do I use? Mm. And you're a bit in the middle there. It's kind of hard to show this on camera, by the way, because mm. I've looked at this in editing. It's very difficult to show exactly where the car is in the road. Mm. But it was in the middle of two lanes. As they went through? No, mm. as you approached. As approached. Okay. Yeah. So you had kind of like maybe a couple of meters gap on the left. Mm. Yeah, because it's kind of in the middle. Mm. So mm, I'm quite religious about this. And I'll share a story. I used to be a de delivery driver, mm. right? And I pulled over to check my A to Z. This is before sat nav. Mm. Pulled over on the mail right in front of Buckingham Palace and I had bang. Mm. I didn't check my left mirror and I hit a bicycle. It was all right. Thank God, mm. nothing bad, everything was okay, not even any scrapes or anything, his mm. bike was fine. So it was very slow, very kind of a gentle impact. Mm. However, if I checked my left mirror before I'd moved left, or generally pair your mirrors, but I don't have an internal mirror in the van, mm. all right, then you'd know there's no cycle there. Now, I know you're very aware and you're checking mirrors quite a lot, but when you made that decision to then go into left lane and you kind of did a little bit more movement to this side, I just want to see you check that left mirror before you make that decision. Go I did. Yeah, I, I it might be wrong again. Mm. I'll look back in the edit, but it was just at that moment where you went, okay, and I mm. didn't really see you look, but I'll try and show that in the edit to back yourself up. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I hold my hands up. Mm. So those are two driver faults there. Okay, that's mm. it. So, that, so your show me, tell me questions, obviously perfect. Your manoeuvres were all perfect. Well done. Very thank good. You, um, and then we're coming into the serious driver faults here. When you're okay. Two. Okay. Okay, so um, <laughs> remember the skip lorry. So this was the first one. You said it was a skip lorry, I think, or maybe you called it a skip truck. I, mm -hmm. I usually call everything a truck. Mm -hmm. If it's a lorry, I call it a truck. Mm -hmm. um, but anyways, the skip one. Do you remember it had like two or three skips on the back on the A40? You tried to overtake it, came back behind it. Mm. Following distance. Too close. Too close. Mm. So I was, I was saying only a four breaks to two second rule, but I was mm. saying it that quick. Only mm. a four breaks, two second rule. And as I was saying that, we were just kind of getting to that line, but really it's only a four breaks, a two second rule. Mm. And if I had said it like that... Was I getting too close to it before I over tried to overtake him? or Was, uh, it, really was it before? Yeah, it was before. before yeah, I think before it was before you overtook him. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Um, so that's that. Um, he, he, Mark asked me to be strict. Okay. And then, do you remember when we came out after doing the bay parking and you turned right and you said there's a vehicle coming on the right, 
It mm. does have priority, and you stated that because I think you sort of sign priority to oncoming traffic. Mm. What did you do? I came out. <laughs> you drove out in front of it. <laughs> it didn't cause an accident. It was mm. very far away. But what does the traffic sign say? It says he's got priority coming through that gap there. But the way I looked at it, so he's coming into that road, yeah? He's quite far away from the section of the road where it's quite narrow, which is why they put a sign there. So I've turned in, and then I was just going to wait there, and then he's going to do his thing and then go and carry on. Did you see where the give way lines were to give priority to the oncoming traffic? No. Did I go past them? They were over there, mate. Before so, the turn? Yes, yeah, so you were in the middle. Oh, shit, really? So really being in the middle, you're... I've already gone past a good way. Yeah, so you don't, ah. you wouldn't really want to go, you know what I'm saying? Because the giveaways are back there. Really? He's supposed to come for... Yeah, I know. Don't worry, I know that road. And then we give way to the onlook and come in. They pass. Mm. You're in the middle. You've not, you know, so it's why like... Is, why is this so far away? Because of the lorries, I don't know, ah. they're so big, or something like that. The chicanes there as well. So that lorry's pushed out around. You know, you said about that narrow bit, mm. which we were kind of heading in. Mm. Obviously, you, you kind of slowed and stopped a bit, let the lorry get through because you're going into the narrow bit. Obviously, you can see all of that. You're a very experienced driver. Mm. Um, however, the give way lines are back there. It's before so, before yeah. where we were turning, even. Before it, yeah. So we're turning see here. See on the video. We're turning here. Yeah. The give way line for that narrow bit is over, over here. Yeah, well, you've got give way lines as you exit the car park. They're probably yeah, which rubbed out. Should, which, there was a stop sign, actually. A stop sign, yeah. good. So we're there, but this, you're saying the giveaway for the thing is over here. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah. And then you just mentioned it. So when you're saying, oh, you know, the yeah. priority is the oncoming traffic. Normally you see a giveaway sign there or a giveaway thing on the floor. Yeah. But I didn't see any, so you're, yeah, you're just, right. It must be a stop sign there, yeah. It must be further back. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's, so, an, that's an interesting And that road has there. two of those. So we didn't go to the other one. The other one's further up. Remember after we did Bay Park and we came out around that bit? Mm -hmm. There's another one. Oh, actually, we did. We must have gone through both of them. Yeah, there's two. And when we came back down, I think we went through both of them. So if you ever look back at the video, you should mm. see the giveaway lines as we drive past the car park. Because we drove past the car park. As we, and you'll see that sign again. You'll mm. see where the giveaway lines are. And you'll see where you came out the car park. Mm. Not seeing you come out, obviously. Yeah, but yeah, you'll yeah. see that bit where people do come out. That's, uh, that's a bit mad. Not now Mark will strangle me. So if I'm not here for next week's episode, you're nowhere so, um, to go. <laughs> mutual death threats. Yeah, you threatened me on my, on my video now. <laughs> that's how it goes. Uh, um, okay. Yeah, so it's quite funny when you see a driving instructor fail a mock test video. I've only ever seen one before. Mm. And again, won't mention any names, but that person was kind of like, uh, really? Mm. Uh, uh, I don't think so. But, you know, it's good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. that is what it is. Uh, obviously, we're all here. We can learn stuff from each other. I just hope uh, I keep my life. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I appreciate coming out here and doing this. I did want to try my best and obviously um, made a few mistakes here and there, which is... Yeah. Okay, I can learn from that. Yeah, you know that. Yeah, so it's really good. Um, the following distance, the reason, the only reason why I gave that as a serious fault, okay, mm -hmm. was because I have had a student that was joining a dual carriageway mm -hmm. at a South East London Test Centre, okay. Mm -hmm. um, again, not mentioning any names. And as he's joining on to the dual carriageway, again, I, vi I viewed the footage of the test mm -hmm. and... I looked at it and I'm counting two second gap from the car in front as he's joining. He's got building speed to join the dual carriageway, right? Mm -hmm. So he's building his speed, but he's got closer than the two second gap for literally like a couple of seconds. Mm. And then he's kind of kept that distance. And he still failed. And they failed him for it. I've heard people where, or examiners said, all right, you were a bit close. If you had backed off a bit, I would have uh, let you go, but you stayed there for too long. All oh, right. So yeah. I've, heard, I've heard it on the other side of the thing where they say yeah. if you don't stay there for too long, yeah. then they will give you kind of a chance. But if you're sticking by that too close for too long, yeah. then they will give you a serious fall. And uh, guys, if please go and watch the video on Mark's channel, um, Driving Test Tips, right? Yeah. yeah. And then look at me when I'm on the dual carriage train and it started to rain. And I was trying to measure that two second gap. And to be fair, I'm not too sure if I was complying with it. And then it started raining. I tried to extend it to four seconds. So it is a tough one. Mm. And it's something that I think a lot of people kind of forget. Mm. I think even as instructors, sometimes we might not say it, you know, mm. and people on dual carriage are just kind of like, well, that's decent. 
Mm. But we're not really making a point of it and measuring that two second gap and all of that. <laughs> Everyone's falling asleep. Wake up. <laughs> okay. Well, I've been Scott. This has been Mark. Go check out his channel. Stay tuned, stay safe, and see you next time.